All right. You want to start over All again? Right, just for, Joe? Yep. Just just for the record, please, everybody, uh, roll call, please. John Reiner's KM. Who all's in attendance? John Reiner's KM4 BBH. Yo, Lowenthal, WA4 OBO. Jim Martin, BD4 FUU. Mike, KM4 MRW. Joe Plum, Harry Hayes, November Sheriff Correcto. <laughs> All right. Maybe um, Paul, KYF4FB. And Fantastic. Steve, KK4VPT. Fantastic. Um, Perry, do you agree that we have a quorum of six board members? Let me see. I do. All right, John, you have the floor. Thanks, Joe. All right, yeah. This uh, this was basically uh, just uh, we we had discussed that the repeater work was going to be going on that uh, this weekend, and uh, we wanted to circle back and try to provide a more accurate number. Uh, for the line uh, for repeater system upgrades, uh, uh, last year we budgeted a thousand, but spent four thousand, and there were discussions about trying to replace the heliacs, uh, things of that nature. That that we were looking at possibly a fifteen thousand uh, dollar expense this year. Thankfully, um, as I understand it, it does not need to be nearly that high this year. Um, so, uh, Joe, did you want to kind of share briefly what, what you found out, Joe Plunk? Um, I, I don't want to speak for the repeater committee. That's their, it's theirs to come back with their formal findings. Um, it is an observation that I would make that I don't think that we're going to have to use the extremes. Uh, I do think that we'll be higher than we were last year, but I don't think that uh, at least for the 8.2 and the 443700, um, I think that we will not have to go to the extremes. Now, just bear in mind, everyone, uh, they have not yet been able to get to the other repeaters that are at our other sites. Um, as they, just, they haven't been able to get there. They've been working on the, the flagships. Um, so with that, I'm, uh, I'm not sure that we don't want to leave kind of some some – extra nest there for the other sites because they haven't even been visited uh, but as far as an observation that i would share uh, around my kind of personal observations i didn't see that we were going to have to use the extremes we are going to have to spend some money uh, i feel to do some equipment um, modifications and additions to accommodate for some things but um I, it's not my point or place to come back and say what the repeater committee is going to come back with yet. They were at, they, I was there as well, but uh, they were at the site from basically nine to eight last night. Uh, so they did not have a whole lot of time to process their numbers um, and work through their numbers and come back with meaningful information. Right. Uh, with that, uh, hopefully that's what you were looking for, John. Yeah, yeah. I just um, like like I said the other night, um, our budget is negative two thousand for the year. That's with only a thousand dollars in repeater system upgrades. So I really want to keep that negative two thousand as uh, uh, close to that. It'd be better if we could, you know, zero the budget out and have it balance. Unfortunately. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so we just need to come up with a number now uh, that is more reflective of what actually needs to be done. I move we uh, delete the, the footnote that we put in uh, at the Tuesday board, last Tuesday board meeting. Second. Um, what was the footnote 
the footnote was what was the footnote remind everyone please the footnote was a 15,000 if the coax had to be replaced on the 82 repeater so you said that's good, still that's good so we can remove that footnote well um my opinion is not what matters here it's what the repeater committee is going to come back with and tell us um on that i don't well, think well, that it, it was said that it was insufficient where the repeater is still on the air where if if it was that bad it would you should have had it turned off yesterday so therefore we need to delete that note because it's saying that uh the coax is, is heliax is good. The uh, all right to that point, I, I I can't argue that point. Yeah, I think what our on the air. would be is if we delete that footnote, great. Um, we can come up with a reasonable number for a repeater system maintenance this year and then if the repeater committee comes back and they discover something else we can always amend the budget if needed to and we can you know but but for sake of trying to accurately uh uh forecast with the knowledge that we have right now uh yeah i'm, I'm okay with that Just bear in mind, the only thing I'll say is we've only been to one repeater site. And we've got four other, one, two, three, four, four other repeaters to go to look at and touch to really They're make still it. on the air, aren't they? So, so, but Joe, I think that, you know, the bottom line, you know, we have, are, are we going to kick the budget uh, down the road again? Because, you know, we were supposed to have the budget look, in the February spark. So, you know, it's, we said we were going to put it off until March. And so what are we, what is the line item then going to be in, in the budget so, so that we can publish it in sparks? I guess that is the main understood. question. And the, the, the motion that's on the table and, uh, and the Mary Jean's next, the motion that's on the table is to remove the footnote. That's all I was saying. Go ahead, Mary okay. Jean. Well, I was just going to say, um, and I think I think most everybody on here would probably recall. I don't know about some of the newer board members, but I mean, historically, what we've done is try to get the average, and that's what a budget's supposed to be anyway. And then, like any big expenses, like uh, the last time we bought a new antenna, I guess what four or five years ago or so, um, we brought that up and then would amend it the budget at, at that time. Uh, and I believe we even brought that to the membership to vote as well. I do remember since it that. was a large purchase. And whether we yeah. whether we do that or not is one thing, but like um, you know, I don't know. When I, I have not I will admit I have not had a chance to go back and watch the meeting, but personally I would hesitate to put a footnote in for that much money. I would think it would be more appropriate to um you know keep the get the budget where it needs to be and then for any major purchases if it's easier to do it in one lump sum just bring it to you know when when they're ready because i mean the way from what ty's email said i mean that could take if they want more feedback i mean that and then there's other repeater sites like you said that could take a week or it could take a month yeah. you know and so how long do we kick it out to uh, yeah. I mean, when we can't uh, just come back and revisit it later, so that way the budget's done, and then it's just revised. Like, no budget is ever perfect when you're predicting. Call you know. for questions. Agreed. <clears throat> Call for questions. I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear what was the was the comment, Joe? Call for question to vote on removing the footnote from the uh, budget uh, proposal from last uh, Tuesday's board meeting. I, 
And I second. All in favor right, question's been removing. called. No, that's not the that's not what's happening. You called previous question, so the question is to end debate. That's then, right. Then we'll vote on whether to remove the footnote. Just Correct. to be technical about it. I guess it would, let me state this. Um I I would feel more comfortable just go ahead and leaving the the line item at a thousand dollars to that would that we've always used as um, as a baseline for upgrades or for maintenance, um, and anytime something has come up, antenna work, you know, you know, climb, you know, uh, have you know tower climbers come out and and do their investigation, uh, replace a repeater, you know, any any of those items, we've always then come back to the. To the club membership and presented it to them with with a full explanation and, and a possible discussion and then we vote on how much that's going to be and at that time we have we have figures as to how much that's going to cost so i would i only only I'm, i don't even think that we need to raise it to that five thousand dollar minimum because we, we, we don't know what that's a debate on it uh, right now the current motion as i understand it was about removing the footnote right so that footnote also i mean it, it references that um you know that five thousand dollar field um, so okay. that item there the the, the 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 previous question's been called and properly seconded the vote that we need to make is whether or not we're going to end debate on whether to remove the footnote so the question's been called and seconded. The question is, please say whether you want to, in debate and vote, proceed to voting on removing the footnote. Uh, Perry, please call the roll. John Reiners. I move to end debate. Where Jim am I Martin. voting? <laughs> Jim Martin. Yes. You, you would. Yes. Joe Lowenthal. Yes. Mike Harrison? Yes. Mary Jean Hall? Yes. And I vote yes. Joe Plunk? Yes. End of debate. All right. So now, previous questions and cold debate's been ended. Motion on the floor is to remove the footnote from the amended budget of the Tuesday meeting. So we'll proceed directly to that, that, that question and motion so perry please call the roll what we are voting on to be clear is to remove the footnote from the board approved budget please call the roll i vote aye john reiners aye jim martin aye joe lowenthal aye to remove mike harrison aye mary jean hall yes Joe Plunk. Yes. The eyes have it. So now the next right, question John. becomes what do we do? What do we put in for repeater system upgrades? What number do we well, predict? The well, the number that we put in at the board meeting on Tuesday night, I believe. Refresh my memory, Perry, please. I think it was five thousand. Five thousand. Okay. Um, that's what everybody agreed, kind of, and we footnoted it to a maximum amount. And what we've done is we've removed the footnote maximum amount and said we're going to put in five thousand dollars. I think that's uh, a number that should probably be in place and be workable. Uh, with the understanding that that delta, that difference, that deficit is most likely going to have to come from savings and there, and, uh, or repeater fundraising, whatever the club decides to do. But we are in a deficit mode, to John Reiner's point. Right. That's negative $7,573, if uh, my math's correct. That's a lot. So if we could trim that number down at all, you know, from 5,000, I mean, I know you mentioned the possibility of two $1,000 amplifiers, 
Um, or whatever the repeater committee comes back with, John, right. I, I don't know. I know. Uh, okay. Right. So uh, they have, they get to make the recommendations. So, so I, I think, I think that as a board, we have accomplished and trimmed down to reasonableness and we need to leave it there to properly set expectations because we know we've got to have some hardware and maintenance and we know that we've got other repeaters. Now, to Mary Jean's point, this is amendable. This is adjustable after the fact. And just because it's set as a budget doesn't mean we have to spend every penny that we approve. To John Reiner's point, just because we say that we're going to potentially spend it doesn't mean that we have to spend it. But I think from, a, from an expectation from a setting a proper uh, tone, I think that we're probably in the right ballpark and we're not going to be hitting them with surprises by saying, oh, yeah, we only said we're going to spend a thousand and oops, we're going to have to ask you for six thousand. Right. But we just don't know. What about putting uh, it at two thousand? It's double of what we did last year. Double what we did last year was four thousand. It would be eight thousand, Joe. We did four thousand dollars in repeater it, the expenses budget, last year. The the budget itself was a thousand, and we two thousand of that was replacement of a repeater, and two thousand was a client. So there really was no maintenance per se. So a thousand should be sufficient. I, look, we're all in a board. We all have to agree. We don't always have to perfectly agree. I don't think we should reduce it because it's we're just going to come back to the membership and more than likely ask them for additional funds. I, I, but we are a board. We all we have to work in uh, whatever the board decides is what we present to the membership. So. I, I think it is, in my opinion, we know we're going to spend more than $2,000 because there's just stuff to do. We haven't, the repeater committee is only two repeaters into six. Does everything have to be done this fiscal year? Not necessarily, but we don't have that plan back from them. Right. And, and, and again, we don't have to spend it if the budget's, approved to spend it that doesn't mean it gets spent that just means it's a potential spend right i move that we have the repeater repeater maintenance uh, line item at two thousand dollars i'd second that There's a motion on the floor properly second to change the repeater maintenance line item in the budget from 5,000 to 2,000. Uh, Perry, please call the roll. I'll vote aye, John Reiners. Aye. Jim Martin. Aye. Joe Lowenthal. Aye. Mike Harrison. Aye. Mary Jean Hall. Aye. Uh. Joe Plunk? No. Looks like it passes with one nay vote. All right. What's next, John? You called it. Uh, that's what's on the that's, agenda. That's it on the agenda. I mean, if, if the repeaters are in good enough shape that were visited yesterday, that they can continue in operation without further damaging, then that's that's really all I had on this. That's not what the repeater committee has said, by the way, because they haven't made a report. 
And please make sure that's in the record, Perry. Okay. So. Are they still operating? Haters are operating and they don't think they should be. That, that, that doesn't, you know, vote well in the new. Well, we don't know. Uh, that, that, that's the problem here is we don't know because we don't have anyone from the repeater committee here. They haven't formulated their report and put it together. But to uh, to a point that uh, was brought up, they are still on the air and still operating. But well, my my point is that we can't we can't surpass and sur surplant and, or not give the repeater committee the opportunity to come give us the report that they need time to develop. That is the point that I'm trying to make. We can't jump on them and say, well, we need a report instantly. They need some time to be able to put that report together. Even in your business job roles, you are given time to prepare the reports that your uh, organization asks you to prepare. Well, we, we need a timeline now, then because hey, we need a new time. We need a definite timeline because the last trustee was let go because he didn't do an inspection once a month at all the places. And they, they, they've had three weeks and been to one location. We need, a, we, we, need a definite, we need a definite timeline of exactly when they're going to visit each spot. If I may so, interject. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and, and so, you know, something I want, I've already said it, and I want to remind everybody again, like, you know, this, and from what I understand, this is to kind of try to get the budget finalized. And I will say, like, Ty really reamed the board in general, especially Jim, on not having a budget done back in December. And so, in my personal opinion, I would think this is more about getting a generic, you know, general budget, because like you said, you know, just now, Joe, like, we don't know. And if they need more time, then we should let them have more time. But I don't know why we can't do where we can come back later, get the budget set, you know, something general, because we know, you know, whether if, if it's, you know, it's not going to be that hard to come to the board and present. I mean, if they're going to present it anyway, at that time, they could actually give an exact number of how much more they Absolutely. need. And it's not going to be hard to to prove it, you know? So like, I, I would rather see just, you know, what can we do to get something done so the budget is done? And then Absolutely. that way they're not pressed for time. I mean, they, you know, they need to hurry, but then they need to get it right. So if they need time, you know, that's fine. Like come back and, you know, in a way it's separate motion to whether it's, you know, whether it's a, in, under, if, if we're voting on 2000, whether it's under 2000 or if it's, you know, 5,500, that gives them time to come in and say, hey, this is exactly how much we need to go, you know, X, Y, Z amount to each of these different repeaters. And then that way the pressure is not on them to hurry up necessarily. And the pressure is not on the board to get a budget passed that, you know, we've been getting yelled at for months now for not getting it done. So, uh, you know, let's make it, I would say, let's make it easy for everybody to get a budget done. And then when they're ready, then let's revisit the repeater category. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, and I have an observation. I mean, we all agreed at the last meeting that there'd be a visit to the repeater site. And once that happened, we would have a number to plug in. So I don't think anyone is being unreasonable. I mean, that's what we basically all agreed to do the last time we met. And the only reason that I called this for today is that we've got to get the information to Mike to get into Sparks. I mean, our, we're, we're asking the membership to vote on this Tuesday. So there is a time pressure. And in the context of work, uh, while we like to think that we have time to plan and do things, uh, there are times my boss will be like, hey, I need a report in like 15 minutes. on something. It's like, oh, come on, <laughs> really? Uh, so it does happen. Uh, it's not the norm, and I hope that doesn't become the norm here. But um, anyway, it is what it is. The purposes of this meeting was to firm up a number on the budget that was a little more reflective of what we think it's going to be. And I don't think 2000 is going to be enough. 
but that's what the board decided on. So the budget can be amended. So we have accomplished your, the mission that we wanted to accomplish. And what we can do is at the membership meeting, we can simply state, we put this number at 2000. Uh, once the repeater comes, repeater committee comes back with their final findings, it may need to be adjusted. That way they're not shell shocked if it does go up at that point. It's, it's being totally transparent with them. I'm in agreement. What we that. allowed for, this is, you know, it could go up. So, anyway. I appreciate everybody taking time on their Sunday afternoon to, to firm this up. Hey, uh, I just want to let you guys know that the sparks probably will not be going out until tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. So, uh, just to give you guys a heads up. Thank you, Mike. Good, Mike. I will. I will go ahead and and uh, send you the the current uh, budget for publication. Okay. Tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. Thank yep. you, sir. All right, John. Mike, is there anything else my... you wanted to discuss? Not that I wanted to. I really appreciate you joining us today, Joe. Mike, did you get? I my apologize, Joe. Training? Um, I haven't checked my email lately. I just got back from, uh, um, you know, uh, drill. So I um, really hadn't been on my email this weekend. Okay. Mike, I've got a couple of things that I need to send you for Spark. So please look for those later tonight. I've got a clarification that I want to make to something that I sent you for last month. And then I'll have an, an article for the month as well. All right. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it very much. I'll be looking for those. All right. Um, is there any additional business, John? None that I have. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Thank y'all.